scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. And the Bible says she called him Jabez because she bore him in sorrow. She named his destiny Jabez. And a time came when Jabez took responsibility and he said, Oh, that thou wouldest bless me. Change my story. Let me tell you, God is making great men in this season. I have seen it in the spirit. I know it. I began to share it with us. Thou shalt increase my greatness and comfort me on every side. Thou shalt increase my greatness. One moment Joseph was a prisoner. And then the other moment he was a prime minister. Who am I speaking to tonight? I'd like you to pray and say, Father, in this season, don't do it without me. Kababa Shekataya. Nekatala Bosota. As you are anointing men in this season, Lord, don't do it without me. As you're shaking cities, as you're raising financial apostles, don't do it without me. As you're raising saviors to deliver families, don't do it without me. I am a light to my generation. Don't do without me. Lord, I know you can do without me, but don't do without me. Let me be featured in this prophetic move of the Spirit. Lord, you're looking for men that you will anoint with greater levels of power. I'm available. I'm available. And I'm usable in this prophetic season as you're looking for leaders, men of influence. I'm available. Lord, you're looking for men who will see things in the spirit. Don't do without me. Listen. Hallelujah. Tonight's teaching and prayer is very important. God is searching for men in this season men who will be envoys hallelujah i love that song lord if you're doing great things in this city don't do it without me that's my prayer unto god don't do it without me oh lord as you anointing man in the season, please don't do it without me. Don't do it without me. Oh Lord, as you're changing cities in this season, don't do it without me. Pray that as he's changing your family in this season, he will 
use you as an instrument. Akala baba shila baba baba. Don't do it without me. Hallelujah. Lord, we are available. We are available. Oh, I'm available. I'm available. As you're looking for men to carry levels of the anointing that have not been seen, don't pass me by. I'm available. I'm available. As you're seeking for men of kingdom influence, I'm available. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The problem has never been that God is unable to bless or reach us. The problem has always been that the vessels, it's not enough to be available, you must be usable. There are vessels that are available but are not usable. Hallelujah. And tonight the line of my teaching is to prepare us to be usable. Don't let anyone fool you. God does not just use everybody. There are exact requirements. Hallelujah. It's not enough to be available. You must be usable. So I want you to listen tonight. Because tonight, I believe that somebody will encounter the anointing you have been praying for. That anointing you know that can separate you. See, it doesn't take time. It just takes your, your cooperation with the Spirit. God bless you. Be seated. there's no space outside come in sit anywhere sit on the floor whatever it is you are the fire in me you are the power at work in me you are my ever-present helper, Holy Spirit, I adore. Please give me volume, Mike. You are the fire in me. Hey, you are the power at work in me. You are my ever-present helper, Holy Spirit, I adore. So take my heart and hold it. Take my mind. for me take my will conform me to yours that's the price it will take to carry the genuine anointing of the spirit sing it one more time take my take my heart and mold it from the depths of your heart take my mind transform me take my will conform me to yours to yours to yours dimensions of power and grace and influence are available in the spirit but there is a price this is this the best of the volume can you help us can you be louder hallelujah one of the greatest 
tragedies of men is that they have deceived themselves into believing there is no price for glory for influence and for spiritual power please before i start tonight i can kneel down and beg you don't let anybody confuse you not everything in the spirit is a gift some things in the spirit are rewards please don't let everybody fool you that because jesus has paid the price everything is just a gift certain things in the spirit are rewards it is part of the justice system of the kingdom god loves everybody but he does not trust everybody it takes a dealing for now i know that thou abraham fearest me now not when you left your house now i know god loves everybody but he does not trust everybody don't just say because i'm born again i'm blushed watch the bible says the heart of man is desperately wicked and so before god uses you there is a system of purging out that wickedness in your heart and it refines you and makes you usable hallelujah refine as fire be sensitive to what god is doing tonight my heart's one desire is to be holy i'm set apart for you lord i choose to be holy i'm set apart for you my master i am ready to do your will lord i am ready to do your will i am ready to do your will and i will worship the lamb of glory i will worship the king of kings i will worship the lamb of glory i will worship the king and with my hands lifted up i will worship and sing with my hands lifted up i come before you rejoicing with my hands lifted up and the world wonders why and i'll just tell them i'm loving my king oh, 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 oh i will tell them i'm loving my king i love you lord and i lift my hands to worship you oh my soul rejoice take joy my king in what you hear let it be a sweet sweet sound in your ears father let it be a sweet sweet sound in your ear let it be a sweet sweet sound in your ear 
Spirit of the living God, we submit to your authority. Change us. You are seeking men in this season that you will be able to trust with deep things. And Lord, these things are the deep things of God. And Father, we make ourselves available. We make ourselves available. I make myself available. We refuse to be carried away with ministry. I will lay down my idols and thrones I have made and all that has taken my heart Lord I will bow to you to no other God but you Hallelujah. While seated, can you just tell the Lord how serious you are as far as being trusted with the divine things of the Spirit is concerned? I hunger and thirst for you in a dry and weary land. I hunger and thirst for you in a dry and weary land. I hunger and thirst for you in a dry and weary land. All I want is you. I'm determined to pay any price it will take to be used by God. Any price. I don't care what it is. I love you. I can never ever do without you. Lord, I love you. I can never ever do without you. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I can never ever do without you. How I love to live for you. And how I love to stand for you. And even though it hurts me, for every step I take And even though it pains me For every move I make But I love you Lord, I can never ever do without you I love you I can never ever do without you I love you, Lord. I truly love you, Lord. I can never ever do without you. For there's an army rising up. I'm part of this army rising up. I know there's an army rising up I'm convinced there's an army Mike play strings please strings rising up there's an army hey, hey, hey. we are rising up there's an army Rising up, hey, there's an army, unshakable army, an army of power, 
There's an army He's rising up Say no, 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 boss There's an army Rising up Across territories, across nations There's an army Rising up And they will break every chain Break every chain Break every chain That's the assignment To break every chain Hallelujah. This is why we do the things that we do. There is truly an army. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. There's an army. They are rising up. They will break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Hallelujah. Listen, there is an emergence of spiritual men. Please listen to me. There is an apostolic emergence of spiritual men. Not just men who are spiritual. Spiritual men. A man can do spiritual things. It doesn't make him a spiritual man. There are women who are rising. Deborahs. A prophetic generation. Women with the eyes of an eagle. Women with ears that can hear every sound. There are men of influence that God is raising. You may look ordinary right now. Because there's no money or there's no anointing. You wait until the Holy Ghost is done with you. This is not about English. This is not about those who can speak. No! No! There will be a demonstration and enforcing of the kingdom. Men who know no limits like Daniel and Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. They will walk through fire and nothing will happen to them. They have mastered the mysteries of the kingdom. The things that scare men no longer scare them. They understand the principles that create the effect in this realm. These are the kinds of people that God is raising. Not just men that can pray. Not just men who can just talk. No. Men of understanding. The sons of Issachar. Men who can look to the sky and understand what the language of the spirit is. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising now. There's an army. They are rising up to break every chain. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Dominion is an enforcing of kingdom authority. And I was sharing with the leaders. I sense that very soon the power of God is just going to start breaking out in this place. I've just been flowing as the Holy Spirit is leading me. I'm going to teach and will pray and will worship, sing, teach and worship. Let's just flow with what God is doing. Hallelujah. Dominion. Listen. 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 Dominion is not guesswork. Dominion is not an impartation. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There's no such thing as I impart upon you dominion. Dominion is the natural consequence of holding the keys of the kingdom. That's what the Bible calls the keys of David. 
dominion the bible says and it has been given unto you that you will know the mysteries of the kingdom god shrouds himself with mysteries and the more you begin to press into god you have to keep unlocking mystery after mystery the mystery of creation the mystery of the power of god the mystery of wisdom the mystery of the word of god the more you catch this mystery something happens to you here and now in your mortal physical body that translates you that's why the bible says for one star different from another in glory not in shape so you may be ordinary but on the strength of the mysteries that you know you can make proclamations in the realm of the spirit it's not trial and error it's a realm if you are not there you are not there there's no guessing up you can wear suit and fake it if you are not there you are not there you function only from the strength of that realm and i will give you the mysteries it is on the strength of this mystery that you can tell one go and he will go and tell another come and he will come brothers and sisters that is dominion there is something you can know that can make you face any witch in your family and say forget it you threatened people yesterday but right now i speak to you there is something you can know that activates the anointing in your life and you become a living wonder heaven has been seen part of the mysteries of the kingdom is that the moment you strike that chord heaven answers this is what you are seeing there is there is no magic about it and it's not something that happens today and then tomorrow it cannot happen it's not an effect it's a realm of existence you can come there this is what by the grace of God we seek to bring everyone because it's not a thing about a man of God are you hearing what I'm saying the realm where his voice is no longer strange and then the accuracy of your life begins to astonish men circumspectly the realm where you walk through limitations as if they do not exist because you are operating from the vistas of another kingdom you see another reality greater so when men say limitation you say where is it i cannot see it because as far as i see i see that my 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 eyes have become attuned to the word of god and it's on the strength of that revelation you can speak when men say there is a casting down you tell them it's only my body that is here but I'm operating from a realm and according to the mysteries of the kingdom when I speak from that realm I enforce the realities of that realm to be present here and now there is a mystery of the anointing very few people understand the anointing let me tell the truth many people have impartations they can lay hands people can fall in the meeting but see you can interact with the anointing he said an anointing can teach you spiritual things have personalities including the anointing you can come into oneness with the anointing and you understand its operation this is not about apostle this is not about prophet this is about ascending to the hill of the lord and you will stand in his holy place There's an army rising up because some of you will be the, not everybody but there's an army they are rising up forget about the limitations of today there's an army rising up 
And they will break every chain. Break every chain. Hallelujah. Can I have seven people, please? Just any seven people. Just, just come and stand here. I want to show you something. Just, just stand here. See. Want to just squeeze yourself so you can stand. One, two, three, four, five, six. The Bible says, listen. From the book of Revelation, it gives us an idea. Is that the best? Is that all the volume? Don't be afraid. Go ahead and just. It tells us that there are seals and there are scrolls in heaven. Are you following me now? In ancient times, the mysteries of a kingdom were written by people who were gifted in literature and it was folded in scrolls and it was tied with seven seals seven being the number of perfection are you getting me and there were certain people who qualified and every time there was need to open it they will unlock the seals unlock the seals the seven seals the moment they open the seven seal the scroll is open and they begin to read not everyone is permitted to see what is written there are you getting my point do, do you understand what i'm saying <sighs> no matter how much you press into god listen to me there are certain things you will never find on your own are you hearing what i'm saying no matter how you press into the things of god there are some dimensions that are not given to just find like that let me show you something second corinthians 4 can we project that if we can have it um preferably Okay, 1 Corinthians, I'm sorry, 4, verse 1 in Amplified. If we can have it in Amplified. Everybody read it. Amplified, if we can get it. Dominion. 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 Standing on the mysteries of the kingdom. Sita palabakurata are we ready please let's read one to read can we have it amplified no amplified all right read one to read stop and what of what what did he call them who is a steward answer me who is a steward a steward is what you trust a man with something a job to do or to hold something for you is that true the bible says that there are certain people it's not because of their fasting or prayer it's an election of grace by the predeterminate counsel of god they have been made stewards of the mysteries of god please listen to me and kick away this junk in the body of christ many people dishonor everybody you see because you just look and say forget it is is it are they worshiping a man there is a difference between human worship and honor are you hearing my point there are men here and now in this earth realm who are custodians of the mysteries of god are you getting my point when you recognize them and open up yourself to the influence of the revelations that has been given to them you will step the goal is not for the men to stand and brag the, the whole body is supposed to come into that revelation but that the dispensing of it cannot be by everybody are you getting what i'm saying so because of this god grants them unusual encounters unusual light unusual illumination and every time the devil wants to destroy your destiny the first thing he does is he discredits the anointing that is supposed to take you to the next level 
Are you getting what I'm saying? That's why we have all kinds of people talking against pastors, talking against men of God, talking against every, you know, all kinds of things. There are people who are experts. They come and analyze men of God, sit in their homes and just castigate every and everybody including pastors we sit down and we are just talking can i tell you something there are stewards of the mysteries of god never forget this and let me tell you you will never receive from a man until there is genuine honor to god to his office and to the anointing are you getting what i'm saying this is a powerful revelation it says let a man so account of us this is Paul speaking. Let's look at Ephesians 3. Please, quickly, Ephesians 3. And so, the job of these apostles and these prophets and these people, their assignment is to unlock these seals. Open them up. What is the law that governs the miraculous? Why is it still a mystery in the body of Christ? It should be a mystery to unbelievers, not Christians. But why is it still a mystery? Because there are custodians who carry these mysteries but have not been appreciated. Why is wealth still a mystery in the body of Christ? Because there are custodians of that mystery. Are you hearing what I'm saying? It says in, in, in Isaiah 51, don't turn there. It says, look unto Abraham. Did he say look unto the patriarchs? He mentioned a particular person who was a custodian of the blessing see if you do not understand how the structure works of the kingdom works you will be cheated hallelujah your dominion and my dominion is at the mercy of the mysteries of the kingdom that we truly can comprehend and those mysteries are not just hidden in the holy ghost alone they have been delivered here and now every see anointing does not leave the earth to heaven are you getting my point no go and read your bible anointing does not leave earth to heaven that means every manifestation of the spirit that we have seen from bible days till today the grace and access to that mystery is available in the earth realm here and now hidden in vessels of clay and when those people are recognized and their ministries appreciated you will enter dramatic levels hallelujah Ephesians verse 2 Paul says if ye have heard of the dispensation of what the grace of God which is given to me Paul said a grace was given what was the grace verse 3 how that by how that by by revelation he made known unto us unto who unto me the mystery paul was not the greatest of the apostles but he said for whatever reason i cannot explain but he called me and committed unto me a mystery and so you will hear Paul again and again speak and say, Behold, I show you a mystery. Brothers and sisters, listen. Please do not let any man cheat you and rob you of your glorious destiny. The answer to your greatest prayer request is hidden in vessels of clay. And is hidden in the mysteries of the kingdom if you can have the eyes to see it something happened I'm sure some of the protocol people will be there there's there's a lady here who brought some people those of you who know Plateau State from Gindiri one of the local governments or just somewhere around the local government there some people came they wanted to make it for the miracle service but they could not make it for the miracle service they came the whole family and they came in for counseling they came with their father completely paralyzed hallelujah completely paralyzed the first thing that moved me was the fate of these people 
this man had been a teacher for more than 35 years so he's not an idiot two of the children are doctors they are not fools and they left all the way they listened to just one koinonia message or a number of koinonia messages really and the man said they should take him and bring him to Zaria can you imagine that a whole family entered their car and they drove when I saw them I opened my heart and I said Lord what is the meaning of this and then back to 1st Corinthians 4 please the Lord began to let me know that look son I don't do these things because you are indispensable I don't do these things because you are one superman by grace I have committed to you certain dimensions of the mysteries of the kingdom there are many people listen I'll never forget one gentleman who came and met me one day he said man of God I've been watching you from a distance and I really appreciate you I have seen the grace of God in your life and and, and all of that and uh, I, I just maybe once in a while uh, I'll just come and uh, we we'll just maybe rub minds together I told him get out of this place you are a very irresponsible young man you don't know how to receive you are a foolish boy and, and and trust me I don't mean pride are you getting my point I don't mean pride when you understand that there are stewards even if see that steward can be your child your blood child are you getting my point you keep looking at him as a baby and die of what there is a grace upon his life to solve when that man got down the protocol people can testify and started walking he went and ate the miracle that happened right now they are preparing to come for the miracle service with so many other people and I'm just wondering and I say this from the depths of my heart I say oh Lord how many people among this crowd are here crying of problems there are certain graces I don't have I'm not ashamed of it I will never try to venture into certain areas I can recommend stewards that have been trusted and proven and you know here I, we talk about men of God generously I'm not one of those people that sit down and brag and believe I'm Alpha and Omega there are men of God who have seen things we recommend books we recommend people are you getting my point now you must create an attitude that hunger for the mysteries of the kingdom and when you find vessels that are custodians of this mystery you must learn the art of reception there are people today who castigate Archbishop Benson Idahosa is that true? he's there though but there are people who still talk about him say he brought human worship to Nigeria he brought all kinds of things they, they forget the influence that man went around the world 52 times 52 times from nation to nation he demonstrated a level of dominion prophet Bob Jones before he went to be with the Lord said one time during his encounter an angel appeared to him and the angel told him that the name of the angel is breakthrough and he said I am the one who walked with Archbishop Benson Idahosa that's what the angel was telling him Bob Jones does not know Idahosa yet a man walked with such a grace and was despised by people around are you hearing what I'm saying there are some of you right now certain mysteries have been given to you but you go home and everybody just looks at you business as usual is that true they know that the healing anointing is at work in your life it may not be there in full measure but they know every time you tell them dreams and you say I saw myself laying hands like Joseph they laugh at you there are some of you entrepreneurial graces and people look at you say as broke as you are this 200 naira trouser you see let me tell you and I've taught it here I have a responsibility over us in Christ to teach us never cultivate the attitude of dishonoring and disregarding a man of God if he's not perfect leave the imperfect part of him and get what you can get and move on are you hearing what I'm saying once you cultivate that attitude of eyeing this this is not my pastor this is not my papa this is not my prophet you see the man of God will keep you only at the limit of the mystery that has been committed to him but it takes more for you to walk in total dominion are you hearing what I'm saying I just feel like taking away all of these things that some of us have put in our mind if it's not my pastor's book I'm not reading it 
if it's not my pastor's prayer request i'm not saying it i i have opened my heart lavishly and generously to the ministry of the body of christ especially in nigeria let me tell you in this country we are gifted with mysteries are you getting what i'm saying there are men and women of god working in this nation nigeria some of them are not on tv some of them are on tv some of them are just little gatherings like this our own here different custodians of mysteries when you find the flow of what god is doing plunge into it with all your heart and you will find out that you will come out at the other end a living wonder something will happen there are people here right now who come in from kaduna every week there are people who come in every time i remember i was talking somewhere and i told the people i said i may not claim to know all the mysteries of revelation there are few revelations here and there that god has committed to me hallelujah there are certain things higher but there are some things god gave I know it are you getting what I'm saying when Jesus appeared to me I know that specific things were given I limit myself to the ministry of that grace that was given while appreciating and embracing that which comes from the body of Christ if you're looking for excellence we are doing our best but we may not be the absolute model of excellence when you're looking for be the teaching anointing we may not be the absolute model of it but let me tell you something i understand how to enter the presence of god oh yes i know that i can tell you this i can tell you this this is why the meeting was called koinonia i didn't choose the name it came from heaven it's a revelation there are some things that are given to people as an office when you recognize it hallelujah one of the few men that introduced the revelation of the presence of God in Nigeria is Pastor Chris. Many people just knew the power of God. They didn't know the presence of God. Hallelujah. There are certain people who have introduced wealth to the body of Christ. There are certain people who have introduced wisdom. There are certain people who have introduced leadership. We keep castigating them and dying of what their graces can build us. See, let me tell you, I'm teaching you this is the word from the Lord. I didn't plan to talk about this thing, but God is speaking to you. Zip your mouth as far as talking about men of God is concerned. Hallelujah. I used to talk a lot about men of God years ago until one elderly woman called me and she sat me down. She said, my son, you are going very far. What you see today, you may see better tomorrow. So it's better to keep your mouth. From that day, I repented and I vowed. If you hear me talk about a man of God and call his name, I'm saying something good. Many of us arrogantly move around, talking about people, talking about all kinds of things. Whereas they have the anointings and the grace that will help us and set us free. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Let me give you one example. They are looking for Chibok girls. Is that true? For how long have they been looking for them? Are they not true prophets in this country? who day and night are revealing the accurate counsel of God. Let me give you an instance, Apostle Johnson Suleiman. Are you following me? What is wrong with embracing the ministry to say, servant of God, we believe. We know what God has given to you. The kings in ancient times were not arrogant people. When there was trouble, they found the vessels. Hallelujah. Johnson Suleiman was saying something. He said one time, I listened to one of his teachings. And he said, he was watching, I think he was watching Pastor Chris or so. It was at a time when there were all kinds of persecutions and all of that for various reasons. And he said, he looked at him. He said, but no, come on, the presence of God. This is a man of God. This is a man of God. And I honor this man of God. He said he was in Abba. And he was going for a program that night. He said that night he saw physical cancers falling on the ground. He said when he went back to his hotel room he said oh lord what is this hallelujah there are custodians of the anointings there are men like benny Hinn who carry the visible manifestation this is what took me to south africa i didn't go for tourism i went desperate for an anointing i saw that man kobus van rensberg single-handedly he had raised more than twelve thousand wheelchairs 
and crutches. I said, this cannot be pretense. They, they are in the church there. And I went, I said, I'm going. I will pay whatever price. When I got to South Africa, I was fasting. People were just smiling. There were a few Nigerians there opening their teeth and behaving like fools. I went and locked myself. I said, Lord, I came for business. I respect this custodian. Hallelujah. See, I was so hungry. I stayed in the, in the guest house of the chief usher of the church. And when it was time, I, I sat there. I think it was row two. I sat down there passionately and hungry before Kobu started anything even before the pastor's conference started he called me out by prophecy and he looked at me and he said I see you being like Paul you will be a, a custodian of deep revelations of the kingdom all through the pastor's conference he laid hands on me again and he taught a teaching oh God Kobu taught something about the fathers of old let me tell you how mad that man was he went round a tour, him and his friend, right? They went to, maybe, they would say, this is the pulpit that maybe Alexander the way used. And he'll carry a handkerchief and clean it. Lord, there is an anointing on it. And he took it and threw it inside anointing oil. They went to the grave of William Branham. They said when they got to the grave, two of them fell on the floor. Under the anointing. Met the people who buried him did not fall. But many years, a man came with a hunger and an anointing from the bones of that general. The man who saw squirrels rise up, form, and enter the wilderness like Elisha. They fell and he said, what will I do now? He cut the grass close to the side of the grave and he dumped it inside the anointing oil. It's not witchcraft, it's hunger. Separate witchcraft from hunger. Separate human worship. Did all kinds of concoction on the anointing oil. My eyes was on that anointing oil all through the pastor's conference. They said it's time for lunch. I said, lunch? Am I a fool? I leave Nigeria and come here to eat lunch. I sat down. I was, I was, I was hungry. And then they put the pictures of all the generals on the altar for people to come and pray on. When I came, I didn't choose one. I just laid down on all of them. Not just one person, people were just picking one and looking at it and crying. There was no room for that. I laid down and I said, Lord, every impartation from this man, whatever made them living wonders, I rolled on the pictures, I did everything. Hallelujah. And when I did that, Kobus gave me a gift. Every time he's under an anointing, a very heavy anointing, he would lay his hands on a material and then they would print that material and he gave me the gift of one of those materials and one day he looked at me he said was it Andrew Murray or who was that now? no Lester Sumro laid hands on him and Smith Wigglesworth laid hands on Lester Sumro and he looked at me he said come i want to connect you to the lineage of the generals and he laid his hands on me i carried that experience i said i'm done with south africa thank you jesus i'm on my way back when i came i prayed it out and let me tell you i knew i knew i saw two ladies who were sitting in front of us just joking and making noise it wasn't up to 15 minutes two of them were under the anointing i said thank you jesus we we, we need to focus hallelujah I'll never forget that time Pastor Chris called those of us who were from the north I was a member of Christ Embassy but I joined I said let me see who will stop me see many of you are not hungry for the mysteries of the kingdom I'm challenging you tonight I'm not just entertaining you and I stood there people were looking at his suit I was looking see Elijah said, if you can see me, you need a level of focus. Church is not where you just come and look at decoration. Look at it before and after the service. During the service, your spirit, just like some of you, as you're sitting here, there, there's something in your spirit. You're saying, oh Lord, I know that if I focus, I will get something. Hallelujah. Reinhard Bonke. I told you about the stories of Renard Bonke. 
I saw miracles in that man's life. And I followed him to Joss. Stood for six hours standing close to a pregnant woman who will lean on me occasionally. I said, Madam, we are all standing. We are all standing. But I understood that issue. But I told myself, if my legs will break, my legs were shaking at a point. I'm not exaggerating. But I looked at Reinhard Bonke. He had finished preaching. Simple preaching. Like many of you say, he's boring. No rema. Let your pride kill you there. And don't humble yourself. No rema. I need somebody who will explode me. Ah, I said, Lord, even if he's just laughing, I'm, at, I'm still there. I'm attentive. For the first time, I saw the visible manifestation of the Holy Spirit. Renard Bonke finished taking the water. Hallelujah. And when it was time to pray for the baptism of the Holy Ghost, he said he would take water. The moment he would take water, there were probably hundreds of thousands of people there. For the first time, I saw a bed that would be bigger than this auditorium. A large bed, white bed, and there were silvery silvery substance is coming down it was just hovering around ah, was i dreaming goodness what is this nobody else was seeing it and i saw it was moving around ah so this is the mystery behind the impartation that reinhard bonke can pray for hundreds of thousands of people and they will receive the baptism at once not to lay hands one by one no to pray for people when i saw it I knew something came upon me listen let me tell you i was focusing on that experience by the time the bed disappeared i was back in the stage i didn't even know when i had turned i was so focused only god knows when i turned hallelujah i saw people crying being emotional i had no time for all those things I, see when you see me listening to a man that i honor I can slap you if you, are dis if, you are, if you are disturbing me. I sit with all my heart. When Maurice Orulo came to Dunamis, I saw a lot of pastors who have no business with Dunamis. They came and humbled themselves. I said, may God bless you. This is wisdom. Hallelujah. The guy was just talking. You know how boring he preaches. I said, Lord, uh, this thing looks boring, but goodness, I won't be a fool. I'm listening. When you come for koinonia i may be joking now like some of you are just looking and laughing but graces there are distributions of graces going some of you will just get up and leave and find out that some things have suddenly become possible whereas there are others i know joshua selman is my personal friend i know this guy i know my man i even know the worship team is in us sam abba Sam, Sam, the Muingir Batare, and you'll be talking all this nonsense, and they are carrying the mysteries of the kingdom. Let me teach you. Learn a lesson from today. It's not human worship, but don't fool yourself. All men are not equal. They are equal in Christ, but grace has separated men into cadres. And if you recognize this, it's not human worship. It positions you to receive, and then you too will rise. And begin to bless others hallelujah I remember when I was going to minister in Akwa Miss Church when I got to the church people were clapping everybody was pointing this is Joshua Selman when I got there I got down on both of my knees publicly in the presence of everybody and I greeted the man he doesn't know me I got down on my knees and I greeted him and I got up and I sat back I will never see a man of God that is ahead of me that I know and not honor this man deeply from my heart hallelujah I was tired of making foolish decisions and I looked at Mike Mudok people used to criticize him and say he's a seed seed man I said call him whatever you want to call him I streamed life for hours listening to him the day I had a dream I pursued Oyedeko I pursued Oedeko till he visited me in my dream. Hallelujah. Till he visited me in my dream. What are you pursuing? What is what your time? What is it that is what your refusing to embarrass yourself? When Oedeko knelt down for Adeboe to lay hands on him, ushers quickly ran. He turned and said, you, you think I came here to play? He said, I'm kneeling down to get something tangible you are just moved by emotions 
Hallelujah. Sinaj came into Koza last week. I was in my room streaming and praying in tongues. Honoring that woman of God. I said, Lord, we want our worship team to carry that kind of presence. So we will not cast. We, I, I said, if I cannot sow a seed or do anything to her, let me pay the price with my internet. And I was praying in tongues. My, the earphone was there. I was just praying. I said, Lord, on behalf of our worship team, Are you desperate to catch the mysteries of the kingdom? Are you desperate? Hallelujah. Elijah followed Elijah. Elijah said, Mr. Man, go. He said, no way. Kill me. Many of you don't have the gods and the desperation it takes. That's why I'm telling you that the anointing of the spirit is not just dash that falls. There is a hunger. I carried a seed here from Zaria and I went to Canaan land to go and look for God's servant. And we got there, I dropped the seed and I knew I left that place with a tangible anointing. Hallelujah. Johnson Suleiman was speaking and he said he went to a hotel room where they told him Benny Hinn had stayed there. He said Benny Hinn stayed here. He said how long? They said about three weeks ago. He locked himself. He started praying. He rolled on the bed. He said, I'm sure he used the toilet. He went to the toilet. Sat. No, no, no. You, you see people walking and you don't know what they do. I cried when Charles and Francis Hunter, many of you know them. The healing evangelist died. Because I was already making plans to go to the US. What was my plan? My plan was to go and beg them that I want to scrub their toilets for two weeks. I wasn't going for title. I was hungry. In one meeting, brothers and sisters, they raised 100 wheelchairs. 100 wheelchairs. Don't tell me that is trial and error. They did it laughing. Hallelujah. When I started the preparation, they died. I cried like a baby. And then I played their, their VCD. I said, oh Lord, you see my heart. And you see that I truly intended to get this anointing. I know where I'm going and I know that what I have is great but it's not enough to take me there. So I humble myself and receive. Many of you, God brought you here but week in, week out, you just come and you casually play. When the worship people are ministering, there's no sense of reverence that look, these are oracles of God ministering. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. The first prayer point is repentance for neglecting the custodians of the mysteries of God in the body. There are many people who say, me, it's, it's me and the Holy Spirit alone. Let me tell you, there are certain things, no matter how close you are with the Holy Spirit, He will recommend you to vessels that, he has, that are already carrying it. I know a woman in this nation, if she prays for you, if you are single, if she lays hands on you, your husband is going to come and your wife will come. This is not all these prophets, people around, moving around. I know this one by the Spirit. Hallelujah. Yet, there are still people. Do you know that there are people that one word they will speak to you, it will terminate barrenness. Is that true? Brothers and sisters, how many barren people are still moving around? They would rather die and humble themselves. There are people today to come and sit down in Koinonia and receive. They would rather go and get the message and hide somewhere and listen and come out and disregard everybody and they find out that there is a distance in between them and the anointing. John followed Jesus to the cross. He said, I must see the end of this mystery. It was only John who saw physically the mystery of the death of Jesus and the cross. All the other people ran away. He understood the mystery of the cross. That's why hot oil could not kill him. There was something he saw that the remaining disciples did not see. What do you need to see tonight that will take you out of where you are? Brothers and sisters, all things are available in the spirit. There are some of you, you are in ministry. You have been struggling for years. Someone sent me a text and said, how do you do with this crowd thing? Is it just 
I heard of a woman who said, forget about this young man. You know all these young men these days, the things that they do. Every time God wants to use a vessel to bless you, beware. Because Satan will begin to discredit that vessel. So that when he strikes you, your arrogance will not allow you to run for help. But tonight God is giving you wisdom. This is how the kingdom works. When the ass was missing, was Saul, listen, Saul the son of Kish, he was destined for royalty. But when the ass was missing, they didn't waste their time to say, oh, God also speaks to us. Remember, that was what Aaron and Miriam did. They said, Kai, God, Moses cannot be the only one you are speaking to. What nonsense is that? And God said, ah, a cloud came and left Miriam leprous. It was the leprosy that, that Moses was cured of when God was dealing with him. There are custodians of mysteries. Americans have lost it when they stop honoring the vessels that carry this anointing. Balance your grace message so that it does not rob you of stepping into anointings. The Bible says, believe in the Lord your God and you shall be established. It says, believe his prophets and you shall prosper. There are men who have been granted stewardship. Hallelujah. I'm going to Elorin, I think in two or three weeks. And I'm telling you, those people are so excited in that city. They've been listening to Koinonia messages. Let me tell you something. I met two women in all sincerity. The women told me that they pray and fast every week. What's their prayer? That God should speak to me to come and open Koinonia in Abuja. That's their prayer. They have taken it as a burden upon themselves. Because they believe that God is doing something they want to receive. I've seen the God of wonders work miracles for me. Those with gifts and talents spoke prophetically. The mantles of Elijah, Paul and Timothy. I want to see that power at work inside of me. I'm tired of the status quo. There's got to be more than this. There's got to be more, got to be more. Help me say, there's got to be more than this. For desperate people do desperate things and we press in deep. There's gotta be more, gotta be more, gotta be more than this. Sam was here when Panam was doing how many years in ministry? Panam was doing 40 years in ministry. After Koinonia, Sam left this and went to Abuja to go and celebrate with him. Many people look at Panam and they feel ah uh, this see when you see a man with results, even if it is joke, something made it happen. Are you getting what I'm saying? If it was just like that, it would have happened everywhere. Something made it happen. Something made it happen. Something made it happen. There are some of you who are sick in your body. You are carrying all kinds of sicknesses. You've seen the miraculous thing God is doing in this place. But you are not yet interested. There are many of you who are supposed to be walking in acute levels of the anointing. See, with the kind of atmosphere you've been seeing. The presence of God that is supposed to find expression in your life should even scare people. But many of you, you come in and you move around. I see people who come from other states and once the service is over, they are looking for every and anything. It's gotta be more, gotta be more. Hallelujah. I remember in 2007, I was in Port Harcourt. I've told you the story. That was when the wealth anointing hit me. I know it entered me. 
God told me to give everything that I had home and abroad. I dragged it and when I went and dropped it, I went back outside. It was an overflow like this. I went outside. I sat down angry. Not angry, but ah, I knew I gave my Isaac. I knew this one was not Ishmael because there was nothing again. My faith was not hanging on anything. And when I sat down, the Lord spoke to me very clearly. He said, son, from today you have entered wealth. That was what the Lord told me. He didn't say you are rich. The Lord told me you have entered wealth. Hallelujah. I will never forget. Four days after, somebody calls me by 6.10 in the morning, shaking under the anointing and saying, is this Joshua Selman? I say, yes, who are you? Who gave me your number? He said, that's not the issue. Please send me your account number. I say, who are you? You know, so that you will not be a 419 person. When an anointing is on your life, it is on your life. It has come. If it's not there, you can fake it. You can say, I know koinonia. I know everything. If it is on your life, it will be evidence to everybody. Hmm. He said, the spirit of Elijah doth rest upon Elijah. Tonight we are going to pray. Greatness is what God wants to give us in this season. And let me tell you, if you will pray tonight from the depths of your heart, you will receive something. There are many of you, your ministry will accelerate if that healing anointing comes upon your life. There are many of you, you have prophetic graces. There are many of you, you are, you are totally confused. There's free counseling here. By the grace of God, People criticize me and say I, I am not accessible. On Mondays, I'm, I'm sitting and meeting people from morning till night. Till night. Anybody, no discrimination. I don't delegate people. I sit down and listen to people and by the wisdom of God, we hear what God has to say. There are people who are sitting. Do you know there are people who live around this neighborhood who have never come for Koinonia? They will just bring chair and sit down outside and enjoy it and say, I know Koinonia more than you. Whereas other people are coming from Kaduna. We are the desperate people. We want more, more, Lord. We are the desperate people. We want more, more, Lord. We are desperate people. We want more, more, Lord. We are desperate people. We want more, more, Lord. Hallelujah. Where's Morgan? I think he, he, was, he sent me a text about his genotype. There are people who still doubt. They think we are faking it here. Hallelujah. From the day pastor jakes hallelujah and his wife to be were healed their genotypes changed from as to aa from that day we have seen that miracle again and again there are some of us trusting god but you see that and say is it really true again and again you hear of all kinds of testimonies god blessing people hiv whole families have been healed of hiv with medical proofs i'm not an idiot we are not liars here we don't fake anything if it doesn't happen it did not happen you were with me yerima where is yerima not here were you in, in mina the crusade we had it was jodika where is he these guys follow me for my meetings and they know the things that god did the PFN people, by the second day of that crusade, look, they lined sick people. There were all kinds of crippled people, deaf and dumb. I've, I've never seen heterogeneous miracles in quantity and quality. I, I knew an anointing came upon me. But there's somebody, you have been coming every week. You are so used to it now you are waiting for the meeting to finish whereas someone traveled and said lord if you are real i have left all the way and i've come if it's to die here kill me here and the person will get up and live with an anointing i met a woman in abuja and the woman looked at me and she said man of god your messages that i've not listened to they are not more than four i have never seen you 
but i've listened to the messages there are some of you here we 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 mortgage the millions and millions of naira that would have made from tape and cd ministry so that nobody will have an excuse not to hear the word of god i listen to every koinonia message every i don't sit down and say it's joshua selman i listen when there is a prophecy i get down on my knees and i open up my heart i don't want to be the kind of man of god that is blessing others and dying he must walk in my own life hallelujah there are many of you you are seeing tomorrow annie is going to get married how many of you remember when i prophesied at the beginning of the year that the lord told me there will be supernatural marriages even for people who did not expect i'm sure many of you had it and say it's just one of those things the trouble is that many of us always think that these things are just joke or a way of carrying out a program i wish you knew the spiritual preparations that go through for one koinonia service one koinonia service tonight we are going to pray we are going to contend for this anointing for greatness because it's available anything listen anything that is not working in your life you have not known how to receive it because it is available here and now rise up on your feet hallelujah we are going to pray in these few moments please i want you to pray whatever is this if your chair is distracting you pack it up we are going to enter a, a moment of prophetic prayer there is something we need to travail and birth in our spirit the goal is not for joshua selman to be one great superstar all of us i believe are custodians of this mystery you can step into levels of glory there are some things that can begin to work in your heart lift up your voice listen hold on the first prayer point is a prayer point of repentance you're going to say lord i repent about talking about any man of god at all i repent i've been the one carrying my big mouth castigating people from today i repent lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray inside and outside lord i repent lord i repent lord i repent i repent in the name of jesus i repent pray koinonia pray I repent, oh God. I repent for castigating custodians of the mysteries of God. I repent for disregarding men and women that have been trusted to be stewards of the mysteries that produce dominion and authority. Pray, pray, pray. Open your mouth and pray. Don't look at anybody. Those outside, pray. There's enough space for you to pray. Walk around and pray. And say, Lord, from today, I shut my mouth. I shut my mouth. From today, I celebrate what you are doing in the body of Christ. I may not understand it, but I celebrate it. Your breakthrough is in the hands of anointed vessels.
they are custodians of the stewards of the mysteries of the kingdom they are stewards the anointing has been given to them please pray that's how it works pray hallelujah hallelujah say after me in the name of jesus shout it in the name of jesus from today i repent i'll never find myself castigating a man of god from today i receive grace to appreciate to celebrate and receive of the grace that they have prayer point number two I say lord now i know that there are graces available my life is in need of the ministry of certain graces visit me tonight lift your voice and pray my life oh god is in need of the anointing upon your servants that anointing can terminate terminal disease it can open you up to new realms of power please pray pray some of you are just watching pray everything we are going through there is an anointing that can take you out of it there are stewards of the mysteries of the kingdom whatever you are going through there are anointings that can take you out of it if you can see it if you can celebrate it if you can recognize it you will come out of it hallelujah hallelujah there are many of us listen every relationship you enter is not working it means that there is something you need to have there are great vessels that god has anointed reverend funke felix adejumo dr mrs becky and when have you taken their materials to say lord the anointing on these women it must come and resolve these marital issues you can brag around waste your time and remain unmarried forever or take a step and change your life there are books by kenneth copeland on prosperity there are books by oyedeko there are books by david Ibiome. these are men that carry prosperity mantles it's obvious everybody knows that they carry it you can argue it but they carry it their programs are free on air when it's time your job is to castigate and criticize and compare revelation and condemn the man and say this revelation is too childish pray and say lord let me locate the grace that is required to take me to the next level lift your voice and pray show me show me the mystery Oh, show me the grace. Show me, oh God. Open my eyes. Open my eyes. Open 
And the servant of Saul told him, Sheila. He said, Come, let's go to a city. Sheila. For there is a man of God there. Sheila. When we meet him, he will reveal Sheila. to us where this ass is lost. Sheila. And they went. Sheila. They took an offering and they went. And before they came, Samuel had seen them. And he took Saul. Sheila. He said, Is it not because God that has anointed Marcos you? Takamada. Maria da Hallelujah. Listen, you are going to pray. There are graces and mantles that God has put upon this ministry. You can choose to argue it. But if you believe, you can place a demand with, with, with passion in your heart and say oh lord whatever is working here can't it work in my life can't it work in my life lift your voice and pray
the next dimension. Pray and move to the next dimension. Hallelujah. I'm going to mention a few graces and you will pray them into your heart. Hallelujah. See. It's not enough. Listen. It's not enough to know Bible. It doesn't solve your problem. It's not enough to know Bible. Fire, fire. When the spirit of revelation comes upon you, you will know not just what Bible says, but how to activate the principle. You are going to pray and say, Lord, let the spirit of revelation fall upon me tonight. Come on now, Koinonia. I want you to pray with all your heart. Lift your voice and say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord, open my eyes to see the mystery behind wealth and prosperity. Pray one more time. Many of you will be surprised. Open my eyes, oh God. Show me the mystery. What did you show the Father? Let 
Behind the principles, behind the principles, there is a hidden truth. When you find it, you are on your way to glory. When you find it, you are on your way to glory. Oh, pay the price. Pay the price now. Pay the price now. Pay the price now. Pay the price now. Hallelujah. Lord, show us, oh God. The Bible says in Jeremiah 33, verse 3, it says, Call unto me and I will answer. I will show you. Hallelujah. The next prayer point we are going to pray. You're going to say, Lord, separate me for influence. Listen, you will never be able to legislate. See, I see a lot of people. How many of you have seen people go to places and they want to show that I am the boss? When a mantle for influence is on you, you can go to a place and hide and they will still come and pick you out. It's an anointing. You don't try to claim it and say you didn't give me a seat. It said because thou hast lovest righteousness and hated wickedness. Therefore, God, even thy God has anointed you with an oil of gladness above, above. Oh, lift your voice and say, Hallelujah. This meeting is called Koinonia. Every time men look at your life, there is a presence you must carry. You must carry the manifest presence of God. Otherwise, we are faking it. We are not talking of power. We are not talking of people falling down. We are talking of a, you introduce an atmosphere, a presence that everyone around you, whether at work, in class, at home, when you are seated, there is a presence. Everyone comes around you and they know 
that there is a presence upon your life you are going to pray say oh god the mystery that governs the revelation of your presence release it upon my life your presence Hallelujah. We are going to pray. There is the yoke destroying burden removing anointing in this place. Oh yes, there is. Absolutely. The yoke destroying burden removing anointing that you can take and command all kinds of deliverances you step into a place and chains are broken no matter how hardened that spirit is listen hallelujah you are going to pray and say lord the power to break chains and smash the gates of hell. Oh, May it jump upon me right now. Lift your voice and pray. Ah, yes, For your people. Hallelujah. Lastly, before I pray for you, one of the biggest secrets of my life is my passion for God. It's not just love for him. There is an addiction for God that if you do not have, you will never enter certain realms of glory. There is an addiction. Everywhere I go, I carry this like a cancer. There is an addiction. Many of you are going to pray and say, Lord, give me an addiction addiction for you an addiction for the kingdom let me love you with my life let nothing be too great that i cannot give you let nothing be too great let me love you with my life 
When you get to this level, Sheba. you will see the glory of God. Sheba. You will see the hand of God. Sheba. His hand will rest Sheba. upon you. Sheba. And then you will become a living wonder. Brando, Sheba, it's Brando. like you are, it's like oil is dripping. That's the realm that says, Thou anointed my head with oil. My cup runs over. Oh. Hallelujah. Lift your hands, everybody, and receive something that will take you to a new level of greatness. I believe, I believe, Lord, I believe, Lord, I believe, I believe. I believe, Lord, I believe, Lord, I believe. Sing it one more time. The Bible says, believe in the Lord and you shall be established. Believe in his prophets and you shall prosper. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray for you from the depth of my heart. An anointing will mark you tonight. Lift your hands, everyone. Father, this is not the work of a man. This is not the desire for a man. I am nothing without you. But my God, if you have anointed me, I pray that upon everybody in this place, literally everybody, this mark that you showed me in the spirit for greatness, my God, I pray that as I count three, may it come, at least let everybody be touched. One, two, Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Outside. Take it now. Take it now. Mark for greatness. Mark for greatness. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Receive it. Take it. Take it. It's yours. I release an anointing. It comes to your life altering your destiny for good I prophesy greatness 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 I prophesy from the realm of the spirit from the realm of the heaven I prophesy upon your life. Be great. Be great. Be great. Be 
great. Pray. Be great. Pray. Be great. Pray. Rise to a new level. Rise to a new dimension. Spiritually. Rise to a new dimension. Financially. Rise to a new dimension. Societally. Rise to a new dimension. Maritally. Rise to a new dimension. Health wise. Rise to a new dimension. This is holy ground. I cause every infirmity in anyone's body. Lord, in response to this healing mantle, confirm your word one more time. If there is a miracle man upon this ministry Shepa. right now, every sick body be healed now. Be healed now. Be healed now. I cause HIV. I cause cancer. I cause tuberculosis. I cause blindness. I cause lameness. Every blood disease. I curse you now. Every genotype that is SS, we change it to AA now. We change it to AA now. Anyone been molested in dreams by any satanic devil? In the name of the Lord Jesus, I command the fire of God, the fire of God, to burn every devil right now, right now, every devil, God's people, let them go now. I agree with you tonight whatever has limited you you have done your best you know you need a miracle you have done all you need to know and you know if God does not step in you can't move further than this tonight in the name that is above all names just like Aaron and Hor lifted the hands of Moses I command May those limitations give way now. I don't care what they are. I don't care what they are. If there is a God in heaven, I command those limitations disappear now. Disappear now. Marital limitations disappear now. Financial limitations disappear now. Academic limitations. institution. Academic limitation. Bow now. Bow now. Lift your hands. I want to prophesy over your exams. Some of you need the hand of God. Your assessments are nothing to write home about. Cheer up. There is a supernatural dimension to this realm. Oh, it's, it's not all about your faculty. Believe it. It's not all about your department. Listen. Every lecturer was a baby in the hand of one woman. Yes. No man born of a woman has what it takes to victimize you. Lift your hands. Father, I pray that beginning from Monday, let there be strange academic visitation. Strange academic visitation. Strange academic visitation. Beginning from Monday, 
let there be strange, strange. academic visitation let it appear as makeup tests oh. let it appear as assignment Shut up. let it appear up. as missing scripts yes. breakthrough Pate. in your academics Pate. in the name of Jesus Christ for those of you who have any challenge at faculty level at senate level at departmental level especially for those of you who are having an extra year or an extra semester we graduate you in this place now we graduate you in this place now we graduate you in this place now by the power of the highest I command it by the spirit of prophecy we graduate you in this place now hallelujah as you study for your exams may my God open your eyes to see what others may not see in the name of Jesus as you study where you are confused may my God come in and show you where to study in the name of Jesus you will see your questions in dreams I prophesy it you will see some of them in visions God will lead you to pass questions Amen. that carry the same question. Amen. Every spirit that comes upon certain people during exams is when it's during exams you fall sick or you black out or your exam card is missing. All such manifestations we stop them now amen we stop them now in the name of the lord jesus so the greater the death the more the life the power in experience of the reality of the christ here's what the bible says now unto him who is able to do listen exceeding abundantly far above all we ask or think then it says according to the power not that works in him that works in us he is able to do there's no problem with his ability but that ability the manifestation is limited by the power that works in us the dam can supply water the borehole can supply water, but what enters your bucket finally is the size of the opening from the nozzle of the tap. If the tap is open so small, it can make the dam look limited and you can be receiving drops of water and you will have to make do with what is coming. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And so God wants to cap this revelation of this mystery of fruitfulness in our lives god wants to wrought mighty deliverance what is deliverance a separation from the obstacle the impedance that stands before you around you the obstacles don't have to be spirits they can be situations hallelujah if you are giving a death sentence in terms of a medical report that report is looking for the power of God remember we have taught here that the real activator of the possibilities of God is his divine power his divine power flows through the channel of faith but the final mystery that works the wonders is his divine power. The Bible says, according as his divine power that hath given us all things that pertains unto life and godliness. Tonight gathered here are several people with conditions that only God knows and only God can tell. But one thing I can tell you is that the king of glory is in this place. And not only the king of glory is in this place, the vessels that he has so engraced are also in this place. It is not a popular revelation in the church, 
every time people say God is here they are right but the presence of the vessels that will be used by that God is often trivialized men are very powerful and they are very important hallelujah praise the Lord tonight burdens will fall tonight yokes will be destroyed tonight God will turn the lives of people around hear me there are things that have no business happening in your life that will be made to happen creation did not stop on the seventh day God only rested please understand this creation did not stop there is nowhere in the Bible that God stopped creating mm -mm. creation God only took a break but creation continues not just plants and animals to create means to make material to create a scenario out of nothing you have no business getting a job before the year runs but the world can create you have no business coming out of pain you have no business but the word the rima word revealed but by the power of god you have no business being healed today but the bible says to appoint unto them that morning in zion to appoint means to set the date when it happens not only to reveal that it will happen to make it happen hallelujah praise the lord please hear me shake away unbelief from your mind as we begin to pray don't let the, the devil will use the flesh this is not the first time you are attending a miracle service he will tell you this is not the first time men of god are praying for you the moment those things come you have the responsibility of fortifying your mind your refuse reject it you can insist by faith that tonight is my night you can insist by faith father the grace that has not come upon my life before tonight is the night it will come lord the dimension that have not been open to yet this is the night i will receive hear me hear me there are no special days for anybody it is your faith that makes it special the bible said today if you hear his voice any day can be that today hmm. are we together Blind Bartimeo is at the way towards Jericho and Jesus will be passing for the last time. And the guy would have said one day he will come back again and he would have missed it. The Bible says he cried, he cried, thou son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus looks at him and with what you would think is sarcasm, he said, what should I do for you? And then he says to regain my sight. And that man regained his sight. Only people who insist with understanding receive anything. Hoping and wishing that God will touch me is a waste of time. We'll share the grace and you'll go back frustrated but there are people who have come some of you have been fasting some of you traveled from outside of this nation within this nation with hunger there are people standing outside people following online why will you allow the service finish and you just go back like that you are a man of god you have come from far why don't you carry something of substance that you can go back with as a witness that you met with the power of god is god speaking to us one scripture and then we'll pray isaiah 61 this is a scripture that is very powerful the hand of god is moving in overflow one i continue to see this thing overflow one i'm seeing it's an impartation it's not just a deliverance there is a pouring of graces that is coming on specific people the spirit of the lord is upon me because the lord had ordained the word anointed there is ordained ordained me to preach good tidings to the meek 
he had sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, the opening of prison to them that are bound. Verse 2. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord, the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all that mourn. All, not some. Three. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, giving them beauty for ashes. The oil of joy for mourning. The garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. It says that they might be called the trees or the oaks of righteousness. The planting of the Lord that he might be glorified. Go to verse 4. And they shall build the old wastes. They shall raise up the former desolations. They shall repair the waste cities and the desolations of many generations. I believe in the power of God. I believe in the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I believe in the limitless dimension of what the Spirit of God can do upon it. How shall these things be, Mary said, seeing that I know not a man. He says the power of the highest shall overshadow, not come upon, overshadow. You are under the influence of the Spirit of God. And under the influence of the Holy Spirit, there is nothing that cannot happen. Please listen to me. Under the influence of the Spirit, time can be compressed. Under the influence of the Holy Spirit, there are things that should not happen, but can happen. Now the Lord is that spirit, the Bible says. This Lord we have been talking about is that spirit. Not just the Father seated on the throne. The Lord who delivered the righteous. The Lord who anoints is that spirit. And it says where the spirit of the Lord is, you will know that he is there by the miracles. You know that he is there, not just because you ask him to come alone. You are here. Working miracles, I worship you, I worship you, you are here, turning lives around, I worship you, I worship you. Releasing destinies, I worship you. I worship you. Way make miracle walk from this light in the darkness. That is who you are. Way So you know he's in a place, not just because you believe by faith, but there are tokens, there are representations that attest to and validate the fact that he's in the midst of his people. Listen, let me tell you, my brothers and my sisters, tonight you are in for an encounter. You are in for an experience. It's a shift in the spirit. And I want you to believe we are immersed in an atmosphere of limited possibilities. Limitless possibilities. Do not allow the devil to lie to you that your case is so great that God cannot meet you. That God cannot touch you. Let God be true. And let every man be a liar. Hallelujah. Now, but listen, I learned this from Pastor Benny Hinn. I will share this briefly and then we'll begin to pray. Having worked in the healing ministry for more than half of a century, Benny Hinn shared that one of the challenges he had observed with people when the power of God begins to move is they are not ready to release the pain the sickness, the infirmity. You will think just because you are in God's presence and you expect him 
to touch you, to heal you. He will not take something from you that you are still holding back. This mystery was demonstrated in the woman with the alabaster box. When she came to Jesus, the Bible says it was made of spiky nard, pure nard, a year's wages. She broke it at his feet and it became an instrument of worship. There are people who come with medical reports, they come with pain. They are just coming to inform God that this is what they are going through. They are not ready for the exchange yet. Listen, this is a very simple but powerful spiritual key. When you come to God, the Bible says the instruction is to believe that he exists. Number two, that he is the rewarder of them who diligently seek him. How does he reward? There must always be an exchange. Your weakness for his strength. The miracle, the testimony. Are we together now? So you must be able to hand over everything. Here's how the Bible puts it. All my cares and burdens unto you I roll. That's a part of the song that is powerful. Lord, I come to you with this array of family challenges. I'm handing it over to you. I don't expect to go empty. There are many people, whether God touches you or not, you will go back full because you didn't give him anything. Until you transfer the burden, the sickness, the Bible says, cast all your cares. It didn't say God will do it. It is your responsibility to say, Lord, I'm tired of carrying this infirmity. I'm tired of carrying this evil report. I bring it before you and I cast it down. When you are now empty, God says, I now exchange that which you have brought for what I have brought. Nobody comes before God empty. And God does not come before any man empty. The problem is there must be willingness for the exchange. God will not rest upon you when your hands are full, when your mind is full. Listen, it is very important. You are a man of God here. If all you come to give God is frustration of ministry, Lord, the church is not growing. Lord, this and that, that's, that, mm -mm, that's not the issue. Lord, I hand over everything. So it's time to carry your bills that is killing you and surrender it before him. It, listen, it's time to take the sickness. It's time to take the, all the concerns. Don't take some and leave some. Carry everything. Ah. I cast my crown before the highest When your hands are too heavy, you cannot receive anything. You will need to take away 
bring the report from your office bring the report from a doctor bring everything when you lay it at his feet you now lift your hand ready to receive the healing the miracle you don't come before God just to inform him no God is not interested in just being aware he's interested in doing something cast your care listen coming to God and releasing everything is proof of faith that you come before him and say Lord if you do not help me I don't know where the house rent is coming from we are 11 in this family and it's clear that there is a yoke upon this family you may think listen you may think because you are always appearing before him it means you are casting your care no you have to intentionally consciously say Lord I don't want this sickness again take it I'm tired of this life of poverty and failure I'm tired of this life without results are we together now yes and one of the ways that we cast our care is through worship another way that we cast our care is through prayer very powerful you can pray and say Lord take everything take everything tired of the burden of ministry tired of the burden of my family this is not how you designed me to walk take it and then when you are now empty remember when there was no more vessel the oil stopped are we together tonight it does not take God anything to lift you it does not take God anything to bless you it does not take God anything to cause men to bless and honor and lift you listen Benny Hinn said that many people come to his healing crusades and they are ever conscious of their sicknesses, conscious of their infirmity, and even when the power of God is flowing, the fortitude for reception is not there because they are busy meditating. The size of this problem, can God solve it? And God is wondering and saying, who told you, who, who educated you about me? Who told you about me? The Lord, the maker of the heavens and the earth. Tonight, God is able to transform. Tonight, God is able to heal. Hallelujah. To transform and to heal. Apostle, you don't understand the gravity of my situation. That's why. It's your mind and your perception that is being enlarged by the power of darkness. When God comes, the Bible says the mountains skip. Skip. And he clears a way for you. Is someone ready to pray? Please rise up on your feet. I'll give us two prayer points before I begin to minister. And I want us to please pray. Please pray. Hallelujah. The first prayer is you are going to ask the Lord. Listen carefully. You are going to ask the Lord to do something to your faith tonight. I agree and I concur that sometimes the prevailing challenges can be so great and so mighty. You will sit down and begin to wonder in our finite minds, how will God navigate this and bring and birth this miracle for me? Are we together now? This is where the spirit of faith comes. The faith of God. It says, this is the victory that overcomes even our faith. You're going to pray, Lord, my faith is strong. I believe you. I believe you. Lift your voice and pray. Let it be from the depth of your heart. Tonight, my faith is strong. I believe that this is the night, the night when you transform the night when you heal the night when you deliver the night when you turn my family around is someone pray this is the night of your power the night of your glory 
this beginning of miracles did Jesus in the presence of his disciples and manifested his glory manifest your glory oh God Father help my unbelief I reject unbelief they limited God in the wilderness by saying can God make a way can God make a way you are in ministry pray tonight is a night when you expand when you receive you are in business pray career pray you are in ministry pray for your family pray release your faith Hallelujah. Listen. Prayer point number two. The Bible says, Ye have not because ye ask not. You have not because you ask not he said ask and you will receive that your joy may be complete ask and you will receive he didn't say give us any day give us this day our daily bread listen when you come to God it is not only important that you are aware of who he is but you must come to God stating specifically the way and the manner that you desire or the area that you trust him to step in and come through for you for. Every time Jesus would meet with a blind man, a lame man, he would ask them, what do you want? That you are lame does not mean you want to stand. You must be able to verbalize your requests. You must be able to communicate. Listen, I know that many of you have written your prayer request, but I want to give you the next two or three minutes alone with God. Open your mouth and state the things that you desire by faith to happen to you tonight. Lift your voice and pray. Someone is talking to the Lord. Communicate your expectation. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Our mouths were filled with laughter and said they among the hidden, the Lord had done great things for us. It says the Lord had done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Then it says turn again our captivity like the streams of the south. Lift your voice and pray. Pray with faith in your heart. Pala baruta shala bragada balarabo. Kranta lato shala gradira da balaraba. Someone is praying. Lord, my ministry is about to catch fire. There is a dimension of grace that must land upon my life. There is an operation of the spirit that must rest upon me. Is someone praying? I will never be the same. I've touched your grace. My life is changed. I will
person, please look up. It is not very difficult for a man's situation to change. God is not a magician. You will need to release your faith with understanding. You are before the God of all flesh, the doer, the walker of wonders. He's truly a miracle worker. Please believe in miracles. Believe in miracles. They are not a fabrication of human intelligence. No, no. God can work miracles. God does miracles. God delivers. God heals. God lifts. God transforms. God sets free. That's what his grace can do. Never be the same. I've touched your grace. My life must change. I will never stay the same. I've touched your grace. My life is changed. I will never preach the same. I've touched your grace. My life is changed. I will never sing the same. I've touched your grace. My life is changed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the atmosphere of God's glory, Listen, don't wait until you are called by prophecy. Don't wait until you are prophesied upon. Let your heart be open to receive. Let your heart be opened to rise in the spirit. I want to pray now. Please listen. Listen to me. The power of God is very strong here. Let's work together now, guys. Deliverance, when kept within the boundaries of the word of God, is powerful. Listen, because for many of us, let me tell you this, I submit to you. Listen, please don't inconvenience the guests. The space is all right. Just, just let them be, please. Listen, it's an interesting thing that many believers are unwilling to accept. That behind many tragedies are spirits. Please understand this behind many operations listen when jesus was going to calm the storm every storm is made of two things wind and water you can see the water but you cannot see the wind every storm is made of wind and water there is no storm that is made of water alone jesus rebuked the water he rebuked the wind and the water was still there is no problem that is as a physical problem there are spirits back of it whether it is financial marital spiritual one of the biggest deceptions of darkness is to believe that your issue is just sociological or just marital no sir no sir there are spirits more spirits than men on the earth in one man there was a legion in one man that's to tell you how much scarce bodies are on earth for these spirits six thousand spirits in one man please listen to what i tell you your financial situation can be masquerading itself and dribbling you all around and it, yes there are principles here and there but hear me you are not free until the spirit that sponsor the operation is dealt with are we together there are you can only judge situations by what has affected you the one that has not affected you yet is there but just because it has not happened yet you may not know. So the secret is to address the spirits behind it. And not wait for them to create different scenarios that show you they are there.
Are we together? When we pray and minister to people, listen, we're, we're, a, very, we're a very balanced, Bible-based ministry. And let me tell you this by the Spirit of God. You do not help men when you leave the spirit that is back of their situations to go back with them. Now, I know that here and there people abuse these things and do all kinds of nonsense that are not within the jurisdiction of Scripture. This is not what we are talking about. We are talking of liberty that is provable. That you can walk out before the service is done. You are seeing the evidence that this is what has masqueraded itself. You will never be the same. You've touched his grace. Your life must change. You will never be the same. You've touched his grace. Your life must change. You can be a man of God here, greatly ministry, you are anointed, but things may not be working and you may just think the issue is just ministry, ethics, preaching well, that is wonderful. But let me tell you, he said, I desire once and again to come to you, but Satan hindered us. It is not only angels that are on assignment, there are spirits on assignment, there are demons on assignment, there are powers that are on assignment. Zechariah chapter 1 verse 18. What seest thou? Four horns. These are the horns that have lifted up themselves against Judah, against Jerusalem, and against Israel. That these horns have made it that no man doth lift his head. He said, but I have sent four carpenters. It's a reality. Behind many families are spirits. Behind many medical reports are spirits. Behind many repeated patterns of frustration are spirits. Oh, my help has come. shared the testimony of a gentleman many years ago he was in ministry and um, I had the opportunity to counsel him and while I was talking with him as he entered my room I saw a spirit just entering with him and I looked at this dear gentleman lovely adorable wonderful person and I was politely going to hint him to say sir the Lord is already showing me what is behind your problem. And ah, the gentleman just shot me down and said, no, no, no. Don't talk to me about this and that. I said, that's all right. No problem. I respect you. I do this. Let me just pray with you. That's all I requested from him. The last thing he could remember was me beginning to pray. And then when he recovered from himself, like almost an hour later on, he got up. And for the next three days, this gentleman kept reaching me. And said, Apostle, you have rattled my theology. What is this? Doors began to open like a charm in that gentleman's life. Listen, I hope you know that there was a relationship between the doors that were closed and the chains in the hand of Paul and Silas. It's very strange. They were bound hand and feet. The Bible says at midnight. They lifted up their voices. They prayed and they sang. Suddenly, there was an earthquake because God himself came. And then, listen, the Bible says the moment there was that earthquake, the chains by themselves fell. Immediately, the chains fell. He said, all doors open. Not some. All doors. There was no use of key. The key was that chain. As the chain fell, the doors opened. Please, I'd like you to pray in one minute. Father, if there is any spirit entity that is back of my situation, it must live by the spirit and the grace of God. Lift your voice and pray.
by the power of the Holy Ghost tonight in the name of Jesus every spirit that is not of the Christ that is back of the situation around my life my family my business my ministry pray hallelujah you see the power of God is already touching people listen I'm going to take a few minutes tonight to really address this issue of spirits because they are real they are very very real very real hallelujah I have met so many spirits in my life I've had so many encounters that's not the basis of believing they are there scripture already tells us they are there but let me tell you they are there and they are not there doing nothing they are there causing pain they are there manipulating families they are there projecting things that are not of the Christ but the Bible says now the Lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty let's pray I want to begin to pray now please listen whether or not you are an usher I'd like you to help those under the anointing we are going to do a lot of praying this night while I'm ministering um, please participate in the prayer prayer is very powerful when done with understanding are we together now I want to pray for you and then begin to minister to people because there are real spirits behind people's situations hallelujah first I want you to bring out now I'm not going to say anything God is giving me an instruction the power of God I'm already seeing something like a blue smoke rising out of people and these are spirits and when that happens the power of God will come upon them I want you whether outside or inside just begin to bring them out here we're going to pray and call on that name now but the Lord is revealing to me you will be very surprised some of you are standing for yourself, standing for your family. Please bring them out. This is the instruction God is giving. Except God is not God. There is no spirit that is back of any one situation that will remain after tonight. Please quickly just bring them out. I'm seeing the power of God. I don't know why God is giving me this instruction. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. I will contend with them that contend with you. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Please bring them out. Let's just walk with what the Holy Ghost is doing. The strangers that must come out of their hiding place and let you be and let your family be. There's fire burning in this place. One more minute and then we'll pray. God is still locating people inside and outside. It's time for your liberty and your liberty in full, in full by the Spirit. Establishing the victory of the Christ over every life, every destiny. Great 
Alright, we're ready to pray. Please lift your hands. Let me pray now. I'm seeing fire. That fire is coming on people as I pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. As you shout that name, Jesus, I declare by the blood of the eternal covenant that every legal access upon which the devil is laying claim over lives, over bodies, over finances, over destinies, I invoke help that woman by the blood of the eternal covenant. It must go now at the count of three. Shout Jesus. One, two, three. by the power of the Holy Ghost bring them out in the name of Jesus I command the powers that be by the blood of the eternal covenant that everything that binds men to spirits binds men to realities in the spirit I come against it by the God of Jeshuron please bring them out we release a sound in the realm of the spirit. We declare sounds of victory. We are still praying, my God. Chains. I'm seeing chains in the spirit. One more time, you are going to shout that name. Lord, if there is anyone here under any kind of chain, the Bible says to release them that are bound. As you shout that name, no matter how long that chain has stayed, it's time for you to be released. Are you ready now? Thank you, Father, for the honor of your word. One, two, three, shout Jesus. I break those chains now. I break those chains now. I break those chains now. Over families, over businesses, I break those chains now. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me the vision of a graveyard. I'm seeing the vision of a graveyard. And the Lord wants me to rebuke the spirit of the grave. The spirit of Hades. I stand by the God of heaven. And I declare right now. Anyone covenanted to the power of the grave. The covenant with death. The covenant with the grave. By fire. May that fire fall on you now. The covenant with the grave. The covenant with then I speak by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Be free now. Be liberated now. Be free now. Haladuja li haska baruda shalabanda sibaha. Rakatiza nehesala kutia. Hallelujah. Now listen. We are going to pray for the sick. But I'm sensing a unique grace for the healing of growths and lungs. Growths and lungs. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing like a woman on a surgical table. This is what I'm seeing. I'm speaking right now. Every spirit behind the infirmity. My God, I'm seeing fire fall on people. Right now in the name of Jesus. Every lump, every growth, fibroids, malignant growth, cancerous tissues. By the spirit of the living God. Let the life and the power of God touch you now. Let the life, help them please. Let the life and the power of God. In the name of Jesus, I command those crows to leave those bodies now. I command them to dissolve now. Help that lady, please. By the power of the Holy Ghost. 
growths. I'm still seeing growths coming out of people's bodies. Swellings of all kinds. This is not limited to women alone, including men. Be free now in the name of Jesus. And we will never settle for less. We know there's more that's found in and we will never settle for less. We know that's Everyone here in front in this overflow and all the overflows I declare that the spirit that lay claim upon any aspect of your life I stand by the rod of a higher priesthood and I command them to leave now pack your load and go at the count of three one two three go 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 out of their destinies now out of their lives forever out of their lives forever out of their homes forever forever hallelujah please pay attention we are still praying now the Lord is showing me something that I don't see very often I'm seeing an old gate and I'm seeing chains on it with a padlock this is a sign of stagnation. You are here and mysteriously, you have been in the same position. You try to move, you try to push. I'm about to smash that gate to pieces. Not to open it, to stamp it down. He has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in thunder. Now help them please. Listen. I want you to shout Jesus from the depth of your heart. I decree and declare every destiny here that has been tied down by men, by systems, by spirits, so that you cannot move. By this shout of Tehillah tonight, I declare every gate crushed and comes down now. Are you ready? At the count of three. One, two, Side to you, move forward, go forward, go forward, go forward. Stagnation comes to an end. Retro apacoto shala, rekete kete kete, parus kaba, embreketo sheleto sabaka. Stagnation comes to an end. Retrogression comes to an end. Hallelujah. Who is Bukola? I'm hearing a name Bukola. Bukola. Our time is gone. There is still a lot to do. Who is Bukola? Don't worry. Don't force and rush those who are standing in front. You are Bukola. Where are you coming from? Let me pray for you, my dear. Stand up and I'll pray for you. You are also Bukola. My dear, hold my hands. This, my, in the name of Jesus, this chain that I'm seeing be loose now. In the name of Jesus, I lose you from that chain. It is broken now and broken forever. In the name of Jesus. The Lord is showing me someone, you walk in first bank. You walk in first bank. Who is that person? You need a serious miracle now. You walk in first bank. First bank. Let's hurry up, please. You walk. Who is that first bank? All of you are Bukola. Ma, let me speak to you. The grace for wealth. Stand up. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing currencies falling on you. And the Lord is telling me that there is a strange grace for wealth. 
this, this, is, this should be Kingsley's wife. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare by the spirit of the Lord, let that word come to pass now. I release you by the power of prophecy into that dimension. Prepared blessings by the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'll pray for everyone, but the power of God is going to come on one of you now. Very mighty anointing is coming on one of you, and God is setting that person's family free. One of these bukolas, right? So the power of God is coming on you, one of you. It, this is not something small. It's a, a mighty outpouring of the power Hello. of God. When that happens, Scriptures um, exalt I will just identify that one. Who works in First Bank? It says my First Bank. Attend to my sins. You are a star. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them ah. not depart from thy eyes. No. You are not a staff of first band. You are on contract. Is that true? As you, you are listening contract. to this message, I will still pray. This person I'm seeing is a bona fide staff the of the bank. I want to pray for you. If you because I'm seeing something that can cost you your job. That Father, you keep show these words this, in my the dear midst brother, mercy. By that the no grace of God. Look at me, sir. I'm seeing a whirlwind on your head. I need to pray you. against confusion and, and pray against stagnation. I declare in the name of Jesus, you are set free now and you are free forever. In the name of Jesus. Please make sure you are observing the ladies. The power of God is going to come on one. That's the instruction God is giving me. It's very mighty anointing. When it comes on that one, I want to pray for them. And don't forget to like for us. Your father Thank is a general in the army. Who is that? Your dad is a general in the army. I need to pray. We need to rebuke conspiracies. The Lord is showing me your father is a general in the army. Real army military. Please, if you are that person, I want you to come. If you are that person, I want you to come. I want to pray for you. This is conspiracy. In the name of Jesus, over her family, let there be a mighty deliverance. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for all of you for the various reasons why you have come out. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord himself give you testimonies. Very strange testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. The Lord is showing me a vision. I'm seeing a family of five ladies. There's no marriage. One, two, three, four, five. Five ladies. Nobody has settled down. Where are you? Please come. Where are you coming from, my dear? From Joss. I want to pray. You are five of you. All alive. Five ladies. No one has settled down. What do you do? Contract staff with Sterling Bank. Wait. Sterling Bank. Sterling Bank. Yes. You will leave the bank soon. Amen. Listen to me. There is another job that is coming for you. When that job comes, don't fight it. It's the will of God. You hear what I'm saying? I'm not saying you should go and retire now. But I'm telling you that another job is coming. Let's pray. It's not normal. We need to break this. I'm seeing three ladies in my vision. I don't know why there's only one person here. These five, five families. Please make sure you don't tell lies. Don't just come and stand here. If it's not, I will pray for everybody. Five families. None. Not one person has settled down. Ladies now. Don't cry, my dear. Jesus is in this place. Release the family now. Release the family now. I'm looking at this lady and I'm seeing coals of fire and I'm seeing a horn on it. Release the family now. There is someone here. This is a very mysterious thing that happens to you. In a very strange way. This happens especially when you pray for extended periods. Your whole body starts itching you in a funny way. You know how someone under the influence of a, what they call that drug? Chloroquine. That's what happens to you. Like physically you begin to scratch your body. I must pray for you. Why is she here? Please. You are the one? Come. Madam, you too. Where are you coming from, ma? You are coming from Abuja. Come. We we'll attend to the photos you are holding here, eh? but for now, we need to pray for you. This is, this is not just evil, very evil. I have to pray for you. 
You too, my brother. Where are you coming from? You see, my dear people, I'm, no, I'm not saying if your body is itch, listen to the, the, the issue. I just saw fire, this room, right down, just like a sword of fire just passed. I don't know who that is for, but in the name of Jesus, let it bring emancipation right now. Right now in the name of Jesus. Look at me, my dear. You believe in Jesus? I bring you life from this kingdom that we represent. Be free now from this demonic, satanic oppression. In the name of Jesus. Our dear auntie, let me pray for you. Just keep her there. Can you hold my hands, madam? I want to pray for you right now in the name that is above all names. Help her. Be free right now. I curse the workings of darkness over your body and over your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Five families, hold my hands. Look at me. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, let it be over. Let the doors be opened. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray for you, my dear. I'm looking at you physically, but in the realm of the spirit, I'm seeing an arrow inside your head. I need to pray. There is infirmity that has been projected in your body. I hope you understand what I'm saying. Can I pray for you? Is that all right? Father, help this lady. In the name of Jesus, hold my hands. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. Be free from this that does not name the name of Christ. I set you free from it now in the name of Jesus. Five ladies, I'll just lay my hands on you. Be free right now. Let the doors be opened. Be free right now. Kai, let her go. Out now in the name of Jesus. She's also here. Your dad is a general in the army. Where are you from? Uh, Gombe State. State. You are in Abuja, but you are from Gombe State. I'd like us to pray. Can I pray for you? I'm not a prophet of doom, eh? Don't be afraid. Look at me. Those who plan evil, in the name of Jesus, they will not live to execute their wickedness. You see, Ba, my brothers and my sisters, let me teach you something about life. The Bible says a man's enemy shall be the members of his own household. Father, preserve the life of this our general in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is a family now. God is breaking the plague of death. The power of God is coming I don't know whether they are inside or outside. The plague of death is being broken right now. There is a mighty anointing that is coming on that wise to set them free from the plague of death. Please come very quickly. I'll just touch you. I don't know why they are here, but we have to hurry up very quickly. Just a touch. Believe by faith. It is over. Out of her now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Sir, where are you coming from? from Abuja. From Abuja? Yeah. What do you do, sir? I'm a minister. You're a minister of the gospel. I want to pray for you. Where, where, where are you coming from? Where do you come, your state of origin? Akwaibo. Do you plan to go this Christmas? I'm not yet. But I'm not. Huh? I'm, I, I went for operation. It's not up to Listen, that's why I want to talk to you. I'm looking at this man, and I'm seeing you were supposed to have died. It's because of the intercession of men that you are alive. But then, I'm, I'm not a prophet of doom. We, anything God shows, we cancel. You get the point now? I'm seeing this man going in a bus, and I'm seeing a truck. I will not mention, I'm not being antagonistic, but the truck did not just shift your car. It climbed it, and everybody gone like that. You see, when God shows a thing, it is because of the strength he has put in his church. The power to change it completely. Are we together? I want to pray for you. You are very sick. And even the surgery has not solved the problem. Because what I'm seeing is still there. Please hold my hand, sir. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son, let this man not be given to the sword. 
let him not be given to the grave in the name of Jesus I knock on the door of life and I speak to you sir by the power of the Holy Ghost be set free I fortify you by the power of God's Word and I declare death will be far from your dwelling I speak that your going out is blessed and safe even your coming in is blessed and it is safe in the name of Jesus may the Lord show you mercy continually in Jesus name I pray family of five I need to pray hold my hands Oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah Yahweh Yahweh Oh yeah yeah say Oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah Oh yeah In the name of Jesus I lose you and your siblings everything that is an orchestration of darkness I speak by the Spirit of the Living God you are loose now in the name of Jesus I declare liberty I restore dignity and honor what is happening to you I'm seeing an angel of the Lord going down here there's somebody the same thing is happening to someone there the same thing God is doing here, God is doing to a lady there. I declare be liberated right now in the name of Jesus. Please come, sir. Let me just touch you by faith. In Jesus' name, be set free. Come. In Jesus' name, be set free. 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 There is someone, I think you are in ministry, you are in overflow one. The power of God is going to come upon you in a mighty way now. Please carry the person and bring the person here. We have to hurry up. I'm seeing the power of God touch the person. Hallelujah. I'm about to release that grace for speed again. Please come. May the Lord bless you. In the name of Jesus. Ah, 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 ah. Shala super I'm seeing the map of Nigeria. And I'm seeing blood dripping around the east. And the Lord is saying, those who are easterners. This is, a, this is a sign and a wonder. When God shows me a map, whenever I mention that location, anyone who is oppressed within that location, the power of God comes on them. Right now, I'm seeing the east. The east. I release that power now. The Lord is bringing liberation. Eastern states. I'm seeing blood drip upon them. In the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I'm seeing an elderly woman with sharp pain around her lumbar vertebra the power of God is touching that woman right now who is the person mommy you're welcome one to pray ah. not everything that looks like sickness is sickness there are many things that are projections of darkness are we together mommy let me pray for you in the name of Jesus who is the Christ of God help her please in the name of Jesus I command that spirit now by the power of the Holy Ghost release our mother in the name of Jesus mommy I command that infirmity that plague and that yoke of darkness be gone right now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ let me just pray for these two people now this lady where's she coming from okay there is it will surprise you 
how the grace for intercession will come on you this lady this fair lady i'm talking to you in the name of jesus i speak by the power of the holy ghost may that grace mantle you and turn you into a sign and a wonder the lord will show you things in your dreams he will show you things in visions please bring our mommy for me let me pray in the name of jesus christ um just touch her back for me in the name of jesus christ i declare right now this is not sickness this is the spirit of death i command the spirit of death hell and the grave to leave our mother right now by the power of the holy spirit complete emancipation complete emancipation in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ the lord is asking me to stretch my hands just here i don't know why but this is what he's saying just right here to the wall i'm seeing i'm seeing people's stomach the abdominal region i'm seeing things like chains just bring those under the anointing as i'm talking i'm seeing things like chains these are devils of infirmity the lord is asking me to just stretch my hand please just allow me do my madness with god here and let the lord set these people free please bring them out we're hurrying up now in the name of jesus karu salatu ziata kariza hasalam barita suba haseketa kradu saletu shala saba hasarata tasiakata rakata barada balakata frata sadabakatu shala branda skabariata I place my hand on my stomach as a point of contact. Every planting that is not of God, in the name of Jesus Christ, be free from it now. Yeah. Hallelujah. The power of God is coming on one of the ushering ladies. One of these ladies with the jerseys. I'm seeing an anointing. I know you are ministering, but this is a miracle God is bringing for you, for your family. One of the ushering ladies. I don't know whether they are inside, outside. I'm seeing an anointing on one of the ushering ladies. This is, this is liberty that God is bringing right now. Shalus Karita Hasubadia. In the name of Jesus, my dear, look at me. Shame and reproach is living your life now. Shame and reproach is living your life now. The garment of shame and reproach is living your life now. Why is this gentleman here? You are not the anointing outside? Come. Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. Come. You lifting your hands. Run. Come. Your time of change has come. Where are you coming from? Coming from Ondo State, I'm in Copa. It's, it's all right. It's okay. Don't worry. That's why you are here. Do you know me? I don't know you. That's why I'm saying you just relax. You were in the crowd and God brought you here. Do you know why God brought you here? Because things are not working at all in your family. God needs to turn things around. If I don't pray for you, what I'm seeing is you are celebrating Christmas morning and blaming people being the reason why somebody died and another person died because I'm seeing the spirit of death hovering around your family. But the Bible says now the Lord is that spirit. Let me pray for you. Hold my hands, my dear. What did you study? Medical laboratory science. Do you have a job? I'm, I'm a copper in Ondo State. I'm, work, I'm, I'm a copper. I'm serving an NGO. I want to pray for you. The favor of God that will come upon you from this miracle service will surprise you. You believe that? In the name of Jesus, I stay the power of evil over your family. And in the name of Jesus, I release you to a realm and a dimension of strange favor. Receive that grace in Jesus' name. We're going to pray for the sick shortly, but I want to release this grace for speed. Please, I want you to believe there is a real grace for speed. If you don't have it, you don't have it, period. There is a grace. Gashina, Gamuna, 
searching how Jana Yana Kashina Sarakin Sarakuna Yana Sarakin Sarakuna Let's pray. Listen. It's a mystery how God brought me into this understanding. When you understand how speed works, you will never feel bad for any delay in your life. It's a strange system that insists that you catch pace with destiny. It works mysteriously. It works by compressing time. 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 Dominion over time is what speed is about. I want to pray for someone now. Sirkin Sarakuna. Father, please, I know that when I begin to pray inside and outside, people will begin to run physically. Honestly, why God does it, I don't know. I think it's just a prophetic acting of what is happening in the realm of the spirit. But every time I pray this prayer, the hand of God comes upon people and you find out that sometimes they begin to run physically. And I'm going to pray that prayer now. There are people here, God wants to take 10 years and put in one year. God wants to take one year, five years, and put in one month. Is it not written in your Bible that I will restore the years? God does not only restore things, he restores time. Whoever can restore time must be God himself. Are we together? In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare right now. Everyone under the sound of my voice, inside, outside, parushalata. I declare at the count of three, Father, let this grace for speed, restoration, the mystery that gains time. May that grace fall upon people within this auditorium, overflow one, two, three, four online. In the name of Jesus, receive that grace. One, two, three, take that grace now. Speed, restoration. I prophesy, pursue, overtake without fail, recover. Pursue, overtake without fail, recover. In career, pursue. In marriage, pursue. In ministry, pursue. I'm speaking by the Spirit. Pursue, overtake, recover. Pursue. Help that woman, please. Overtake, recover. Financially, pursue. Overtake, recover. In your influence, pursue. Overtake, recover. In your academics, I pray for students. Pursue, overtake, recover. Pursue, overtake, recover. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The person who will run out now under the anointing, don't stop the person, just hold the person. By the person's self, mysteriously by the spirit, there is a prophetic word. And this is how God told me. It's a force that will come upon the person. Please help her. It will happen by the spirit. They will come out by themselves. A strong anointing is not something you can resist. This is a sign and a wonder. How God does it, I don't know. Sarkin Sarakuna. Na, na, na. 
Saraguna three more people that's why i'm standing three more people is a wind is a force of the spirit Kai, the wonder walking power of jesus how the church has limited him limited him limited him please help them make sure they don't injure themselves Gashina, Kamuna, Sir King Aljana, Yanana, Gashina, eh, eh, Gashina, Kamuna, Sir King Aljana. ones that have come out by the spirit i'm declaring right now the chains that hold your feet i'm seeing their legs specifically their legs with chains i lose you now in the name of jesus i release you to destiny i release you to destiny i release you to destiny by the power of the holy ghost no more delay no more retrogression by the spirit of the living god The force of God's power birthing possibilities in the lives of people. The power of God is coming on this gentleman, this one wearing polo. Yes, my friend, the anointing of the Spirit is coming on you in a very mighty way. And I'm seeing a gate open before you, and night is at your back and day is in your front i prophesy to you what i'm seeing and to everyone who connects with this prophecy i take night behind you and i command your morning to stand before you i take night behind you and i command the sun to shine before you in the name of jesus christ Everyone lift your voice after me in the name of Jesus. Please shout it, say in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare by the anointing of the Spirit. I am breaking limits. I am moving forward. Lift your voice and begin to prophesy. Breaking limits. In the name of Jesus, I make progress. Is someone praying? I make progress by the power of the Holy Ghost. Breaking limits. Breaking limits. Hali shala hasaka tabra galoshia. Ekretus kaba shala da baruti. Emprekoto shole brahasada da baladaba. Hallelujah. We're about to pray for the sick now. Please listen. When we take our time to pray for the sick like this, the anointing of the Holy Spirit is coming on someone just around the ministers. As I came here, I just spoke. I just saw fire, just resting. Strong anointing from the front to my back. Strong anointing. The Spirit of God is resting upon people, moving, shifting by the Spirit of the living God. How forcible. Pastor, there is a grace coming on you. The HICC pastor, a strong anointing, shifting you by the spirit. Scripture Step stop. into a new dimension. Sir, 
Jesus, down now is like a tree. Planted New dimensions. By the of water. We want to pray Who for the sick now. Listen well, very carefully. I believe in miracles. As there are people here who are standing, message, trusting God life. to touch this various aspects like of their lives, their the bodies tied. Yeah, there is still a strong anointing around the minister section here. I'm seeing impartations, real graces, impartations coming by the Spirit. Impartations. People are drinking of wines. Ima, lift your hands. I amplify the prophetic upon your life. In the name of Jesus, I amplify the prophetic. In the name of Jesus, hold your hands, two of you. Please help them. Take that place. In the name of Jesus, amplify the grace. You step into new dimensions in the spirit, the spirit and the power of the word. Your words from today will be like fire, fire, refiner's fire. Sarukin Sarabuna Ya na na Ya na na Sarukin Sarabuna Dan, come Hold my hands Grace is given for you to rise no more delay. I place a ladder before you and I shift you by the spirit to the amazement of many. May your life change, change like day and night. Praise the Lord. Thank you for your patience. Please rise. Let's stretch our hands here. Unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Prophecy, no matter how accurate, is limited by time and the openness of the vessel. But that every time, this is not a ritual, it's a revelation to come before the God who can answer. Listen, there are things here written that are death sentences. There are things written here that will take only God to provide a miracle for. There are things written here that are age-long captivities. Some of them even predate our coming to the earth. But there is a name that is above every other name. The Bible says, Wherefore God hath so highly exalted him and given him an office, a name, a title. The Bible says that at the mention of that name, everything in the earth in heaven under the earth will bow every knee and then every tongue will confess that jesus is lord even to the glory of the father i cannot begin to tell you the kind of tearsome testimonies that have come out of this this is not a ritual there is a covenant that sponsors the, uh, the answered prayer here and one more time and the last time really for this year I want us to agree in the next two, three minutes. Wherever you are, just stretch your hands as a point of contact and begin to pray that the Egyptian that I see today, in the name of Jesus the Christ of God, I will see them no more forever. Is someone praying? Every evil report, orchestrations of darkness, if it had a beginning tonight is the end pray don't worry for those of you at the overflow who are still being ministered to just focus as the ministers minister to you while we pray
in the name of Jesus, we decree and declare that these Egyptians you see today, you will see them no more forever. Father, we bring before you every situation here. Marital situations, financial situations, spiritual situations, career situations. In the name of Jesus, we bring them under the covering of the blood. Every legal access upon which these requests continue to remain. By the blood of the eternal covenant, we nullify that access now in Jesus' name. Father, by this prayer, we blot out handwritings and ordinances that speak against God's people. We declare them nullified forever. I stand as one sent by the Spirit of the Lord, and I declare, receive strange testimonies. Before this year runs out, in the name of Jesus, let every request tabled here be turned into testimonies. <laughs> testimonies are largely answered through men. When it leaves heaven, most times the testimonies we need we need them in their material form. There are few testimonies that we need them just in the spirit form. I'm praying every human agent that must partner with God, partner with the systems of God to see to it that this request is granted. We compel them by the spirit to do so now. In the name of Jesus. Every death sentence written here in the name of Jesus we cancel it now yes. hallelujah let it be done so shall it be we establish it in the name of Jesus now we want to round up by prophesying over our lives this for me you've heard me say this is the best part of the service because this is where everybody gets an opportunity for spiritual realities to be created in your life. Please, I want you to agree with me. Every proclamation that will come, receive it by faith. Believe it and shout a loud amen as proof that you believe it. Are we together? In the name of Jesus Christ. Delay comes to an end now. Delay comes to an end now. Delay comes to an end now. Everything representing shame and reproach in your life and that of your family. It comes to end this night in the name of Jesus. pray for your spiritual life the kind of encounter that you have not had from January till now strange encounters revelations of heaven receive that grace in the name of Jesus and if our God is for us then who could ever stop us and if our God is with us then And if our God is with us, every wall that stands before you and the next dimension, I decree and declare by the spirit of grace that was upon the nation of Israel standing before Jericho, I command every wall, go down flat. Financial walls go down flat. Career walls go down flat. In the name of Jesus. And 
and the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon every man that must send for you to come out from where you are to where you need to go to the gatekeepers of the dimensions that you seek to enter I compel favor from them to you I compel favor from them to you in the name of Jesus There are angels that herald the influence of a man. Listen, honor is a grace. When that grace is not upon you, no matter how noble you are, you will never be honored. Honor is a grace. And when that grace is on you, only God can take it away. It says, and Jabez was more honorable than his, not more prosperous not more favored more honorable many people do not know what honor is the fortitude for preference there is an unction from god that fishes you out of the crowd places you in a position where the eyes of men must discern you reward you recognize that which god has invested within you listen to me there are many gifted people the eye that can bless has not seen you. There are many men of God. The eyes that can discern and lift you is not there. Let me pray for you. There is a grace for honor. Therefore God, even thy God, hath anointed you with an oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, may the mantle that makes for honor, territorial honor, honor at a national level, in the name of Jesus, receive that grace now. Receive that grace now. You will be surprised to see the workings of this grace in your life. When the grace for honor and favor is upon you, you will always be found in the midst of your destiny helpers. Listen, it's a mystery that cannot be explained. You will be suspended until they appear. Then you come. Listen is a waste to fight battles without reward David said what shall be given to the man that will do this to Goliath sometimes it's a waste to do noble things in the face and the presence of people who have no fortitude to discern and to reward I pray for you may the Lord position your destiny help us and cause them to love you and to honor you The Lord asked me to wear this as a prophetic representation of what he is still doing. It is still a year of extraordinary fruitfulness. I stand by the God of heaven. Have the faith to believe. Don't sit down questioning, leave your mind and trust God. It is within his power to make great. He takes a man from the dunghill overnight and turns his life around. I'm praying for you. For some of you, before this year is over, step into a dimension of prepared blessings. Prepared blessings. Prepared parushalata. I release you into a dimension of prepared blessing. Listen, believers, I want you to believe this. Our time is gone, but I want you to believe this. Do not doubt what the power of God can do. Hallelujah. We're rounding up in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. The grace that will produce results of wonders in your life. May that grace rest upon you now. Pray.
prepared blessings that take you to realms. Ten years put in one month, I release that grace upon you. Listen, these graces are not some carnal show of wealth. No, they are time redemption systems. Understand what they are. They seek to conquer time and give you the convenience and the allowance to serve the purposes of the kingdom. In the name of Jesus, the grace for ease that brings you into supernatural results. Receive that grace right now. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. I pray for every family represented here. The sound of mourning, the sound of pain and anguish by the spirit of the living God. Let it come to an end this night. Everything that has refused to work in your life by the power of the highest, I compel it to begin to work now. you do not know may they carry glad tidings about you to the ears of your helpers in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for you the presence of God the weightiness the substance of his presence that must rest upon you especially if you are in ministry by the power of the Holy Ghost be a career of divine presence In the name of Jesus, everyone here trusting God for a job, before this year runs out, may God give you a miracle job. Every family here trusting the Lord for any and every kind of breakthrough, we call upon the God of the heavens. In the name of Jesus, let there be an, a, an abundant supply of that grace. Hear me. Whoever ignores you will pay for it. Hear me. Any man that fights you goes down instantly. Let me say it again. Any man that fights you goes down instantly. I pray for every ministry here under the sound of my voice the grace and the wings of the spirit that will take you to dimensions untold may that grace rest upon you i pray for every man and every woman of god here the errands and the horse that will hold your hands loyal men indeed may god give them to you Anyone here who the testimony over your life is Ichabod, I declare by the Spirit of God, a restoration happens now. <laughs> Thou shalt not be afraid of the snare of the fowler, nor the noisome pestilence, nor the destruction that wasted in noonday. Says a thousand shall fall by your side and ten thousand by your right side. It says none shall hurt you, but with your eyes shall you behold and see the reward of the wicked. I pray for you as a bird is escaped from the snare of the fowler. May you escape from every evil. May you escape from every trap. In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak over your life. Go from glory to glory. The remaining weeks of this year, I'm speaking to you. May they be weeks of strange wonders. And finally, let me speak over your prayer life over your word study life whatever has stolen your joy whatever has stolen your fire whatever has stolen your passion whatever has stolen your focus in the name of Jesus by fire let it be restored tonight may the gifts of the Holy Ghost operate freely in your life may you be a wonder first to yourself and then may you be a wonder to everyone around you. In the name of Jesus. 
finally anyone here being eyed by the spirit of death to see to it that you will not finish this year well to see to it that it will not be well with you and your family Gehazi came and met the woman and said it's all well it's all well with your household I pray for you because the Bible says to say to the righteous it shall be well therefore I speak over you it is well I declare over you all is well in the name of Jesus Christ thank you Jesus for all of you who have traveled from far whether from another nation right down here from another city right down here you will go back with strange testimonies you will carry a fire and anointing that will be worth your coming here in the name of Jesus very quickly you are here under the sound of my voice please let's minimize movement and you are saying apostle I want you to give me an opportunity to give my life to Jesus Christ. You are here and you are saying, Apostle, I've seen the wonder-working power of God. I need Jesus as a matter of urgency in my life. Hear me. The Bible says, whosoever will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. Praise the Lord. Whether you are here inside or outside, there are people here who are saying, Apostle, I need Jesus. There are others who are saying, Apostle, I need restoration of my relationship with Jesus. It is never too late to reconnect with him. Now, whether you are here, let's minimize movement, whether you are here inside or outside, we cannot close this meeting. This is the last miracle service for the year. Wherever you are, whether you are rededicating your life or you are handing your life over to Jesus for the first time, inside, outside, overflow, one, two, three, I want you to run and come and stand right in front of me here. Sustain the boldness to come. Don't be ashamed. Let's celebrate them as they come, Koinonia. Those coming from outside, please clear the way for them. Above him there's no other. Jesus is the way, Jesus is the answer for the world today. Keep coming. Above him there's no other, Jesus is the way, Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above him there's no other Jesus is the way Jesus is the answer For the world today Above him there's no other Jesus is the way The Bible says for God so loved you and me He proved his love by giving not taking giving his one and only begotten son now the firstborn of we the begotten that whosoever will believe in him should not perish is a law but have the way the life of god you have come many of you making this decision for the first time many of you rededicating your lives to jesus listen it doesn't matter why you came i want you to know that there is a god who loves you desperately unashamedly and is ready to give you a new beginning lift your right hand and say this very passionately say this truthfully from the depth of your heart say lord jesus please if you're joining us quickly come quickly come find a space and pray this prayer from the depth of your heart say with me again lord jesus tonight i have heard your word i believe join them quickly say i believe that you are the son of God I believe that you died for me I believe that you shed your blood for my sin tonight I receive your life I receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness and I declare that from tonight until forever I reign in life I am a child of God I belong to the family of God amen 
keep your hands lifted while I pray for you. Father, thank you. You have brought these ones by your spirit. You are able to save to the uttermost, scripture says. Thank you for drawing these ones. I decree and declare by the spirit of God that every legal stand that the devil has against them is nullified tonight by the blood. I declare by the authority of scripture your sins be forgiven and I declare that the Lord grants you a new beginning from tonight. I declare that you go forward ever and backward never. The power to love and serve Jesus is released upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Now very quickly, there are a number of you. Um, there are two gentlemen waving their hands. You can follow this aisle or this one, whichever will take you to the same place. Please follow them as we celebrate them. There will be a group of people to just receive you and just share a few things with you and you'll be back. Is this the best you can do, Koinonia? Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing. Keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.